hanging out in Carlsbad, California. It's beautiful today, near San Diego, close to the coast, and I'm at Gazelle's headquarters for North America. And this is the Arroyo C8. That eight stands for an internally geared rear hub with eight speeds. It's got a really easy to use grip shifter up here. You can shift at standstill. So if you're someone who's been climbing in a higher gear with decent speed and then you have to slow down for a stop sign or a red light, not a problem. Shift down, make it easier again. And of course, this is electric assist, which means there's the motor. It's gonna help you. It's gonna turn right here and actually spin that chain ring and pull on the chain and it's gonna get you to the top of the hill. It's gonna help you through the wind and just moving the added weight of this bike because it's not super lightweight. It's like 57 pounds in part because it has those full length plastic fenders. It's got a suspension fork to add some comfort that adds some weight. It's got integrated lights. It's got this rear rack that you can use to put groceries or paneers. And I love that it also has kind of a, what they call a skirt guard. It's also something of a paneer blocker. So if you have bags hanging on the side, they don't get caught in the spokes or rub against those uh, tires. The tires are really beautiful. These are the Schwabi City Light. They've got a nice reflective sidewall to give you increased visibility, along with these integrated lights. So this is B&M. I think that's Bosch & Muller, but it's branded Gazelle. And again, back here with the light, this is AXA. There's just so much you can do with this thing and it's so comfortable. That's what I really love about it. In addition to that front suspension fork, which, you know, it's a little bit of adjustability here. There's kind of a ticker, and I'm, I imagine that we might have preload and rebound adjust. We've also got a really dynamic stem. They call it the gazelle switch, and if you slide it down, the whole thing kind of angles down and the bars spin at the same time. It's hard to do with, with one hand, but let's try. Okay, so now that it's open, look at that. This thing goes all over the place. It even comes way back to you like that or way forward. I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless. And there we go. My, my favorite setup is this like super high, but still kind of swept back with these bars, ergonomic grips. I thought at first, so is that a, a shifter like we have over on the right, but it's actually a bell. So check this out. How fun. I really like that. Just like with the other Bosch systems, this kind of swivels and lines up with your, your viewpoint. It is backlit, easy to read at dusk or dawn, and it's removable. So you can slide that off if you're parked at a rack for a long time or if you're worried about vandalism. Coming back to comfort, real nice saddle, Sully Royale HC with a little suspension element as well. If you wanted to get even more comfort with like a thud buster or body float, if you're going faster, this is 27.2 millimeters on that post integrated lock this is what they call a cafe lock because you just kind of slide it down and it puts a bar through those spokes so no one can walk away with your bike they could still try to carry it off but when you're at the cafe and you can see it out the window it's just designed to give you a little bit of protection and i like that um, of course we have the bosch power pack 436 volt 11 amp hour battery pack this is slightly above average and it's relatively light i was weighing it a minute ago it's like 5.4 pounds so it's not taking up too much of the weight capacity that this rack offers and i really do think you could put a basket or sometimes even child seats and stuff um, but it doesn't say exactly how much it's rated for on the rack so that'd be worth checking separately it does come with these nice bungee cords so you can strap down some papers or like a, a milk carton uh, basket if, if you want that's really neat i love that the battery can be charged on or off the bike you just pull it right off bring it inside that's usually where i charge um, you know really smart system samsung cells lithium ion it's it's durable it lasts a long time and i think bosch gives you a two-year warranty on their electronics so you you really feel protected uh, this is one of my favorite drive systems and actually what we're looking at here is the bosch active line it's a little bit more modest in terms of power output than some of the performance lines that offer 350 watts of power this one it's it's like 250 watt still pretty zippy but a little bit less torque a little bit less power but good efficiency for distance still supposed to hit those 20 mile per hour top speeds but i like that you've got four levels of assist to choose from because you might just want to relax and eco is a good mode for that just slow comfortable that upright sort of a dutch body position uh, this bike, you know, this is the kind of thing I could see myself riding as I get a little bit older, um, maybe just around the neighborhood, but it doesn't skimp on features or quality. So the only two trade-offs are weight and then the price at $36.99. It's not a cheap bike, but none of the components are cheap. It's really nice that way. We've got a kickstand down here. 
seems to be working pretty well. Those are not the correct pedals. It actually comes with plastic pedals that have rubber grip on them that don't fold. They just do that because this is a demo bike. And then we've got a quick release skewer in the front. So you can take off the wheel in addition to that battery pack and the seat post could come out and you could adjust this and actually becomes kind of compact if you need to fit it in a car, if you're buying it at a dealer or something like that. Uh, 700C by, I guess it's 700 by 35C. So a little bit narrower on the tires and that's designed to be efficient and coast smoothly and quietly. But the trade-off with those is the PSI tends to be a little bit higher. They tend to be not quite as forgiving as beach tires or something. And, you know, it comes back to weight and efficiency. They've really worked their way around the comfort aspects with all that suspension stuff. I like that. Also, while I was down here, did you see these brakes? These are linear pull brakes. So they have brake pads just like the old fashioned ones, but they're hydraulic and they are really strong. You know, when you come over here and you pull on that brake lever, you don't have to pull very hard. It's real big, easy to reach it just it gives you tons of braking power it's actually probably more effective than disc brakes or something uh, however if you ride this through water or mud or something it can kind of squeak a little bit so there are some trade-offs with any technology i think these are some of the best linear pull brakes available and coming back to cleanliness they've got this nice chain protector that almost completely surrounds the chain so you can't even see it that even from this side it's just really it's just hidden but it is a chain you can see through there um, a little bit of it with the sprocket. I wasn't able to count the teeth or anything, but you know, you've got eight speeds. Yeah, it's just, it's a neat setup. And oh, by the way, this is a horizontal dropout. So you can adjust those with these screws here and it kind of brings it back and it tightens that chain. If you need to get some tune-ups or if you get a flat tire, I wouldn't be too excited about changing a flat on the rear, but they do have active line K guard on these uh, tires. So they're supposed to be a little bit thicker, kind of a Kevlar lining something that you pay a little bit extra for it's part of the quality of this bike so i think probably a good time to just hop on this thing and pedal it around i'm in a parking lot here and i'm going to start off in eco mode just really relaxed and pedal pedal kind of slowly you can see there's a little power indicator that as the motor gives me energy i can visually see that oh hey you know it's it's activating just really quiet kind of takes the edge off the weight and the bike starts to feel more like a normal bike. Now, one of the trade-offs with a deep step through like this is that, you know, the frame isn't quite as stiff. There's a lot of weight towards the back and up high on that rack, you know, six pounds, not a lot, but it just flexes a little bit more if I really, if I do that, the frame does. This particular design, this deep step through wave comes in two sizes. It's going to be easy to approach like this so you don't bonk your knee or your shin swinging your leg over um, but if you want the largest size that only comes in a diamond high step so that's one of the trade-offs something to think about but it's nice that they have three sizes i like the finish here really professional kind of a matte black with uh, some silvery gray accents this time when i get on i'm going to do all the way up to turbo try to hit that top speed the display is just awesome because it's backlit and it's, it's really big and visible there's even a little charging port on the side here for whoop, losing, losing track or sort of like a micro USB. Do you see that right there? Whoop. So you could kind of maintain your phone or something. If you had it set up here, maybe you're listening to music or something. This information button that's replicated over here cycles through trip time, odometer, trip distance, clock, max speed, average speed, and then there's range. And that's sort of a dynamic calculation, how far you can go given the remaining battery capacity. So, you know, my battery capacity right now is like half-ish. And if I arrow down from turbo to eco, it says, hey, 27 miles. They estimate that on eco and, you know, ideal conditions, you can get 70 or so miles. But, you know, it, it all depends on your weight and the terrain. Around here, there's a lot of hills and stuff. So that's going to that's gonna come into play. But you should be able to get to the top of the hills efficiently. I wish I could show you that front sprocket because it spins very quickly and it responds just almost instantaneously to when you pedal and when you stop. I never feel like I'm out of control, like, whoa, the motor's going and I don't want to go. It, it stops almost immediately when I stop pedaling. Um, of course, the brakes are really powerful. So here we go. Let's do it. I'm arrowing up to the highest level of assist turbo. You can see it right here. And I'm going to pedal and we'll see how that sounds. It's a little bit more pronounced in that highest level and because I'm spinning at a higher cadence, 
but you could hear like how quickly it, it turned on and it cut out. And that's what I'm talking about. So let's go up to a higher gear, try to get that top speed maybe. Okay, you can hear the battery bonking around a little bit in the background. Okay, I'm all up to eight. And there we go, 20 miles per hour and it cuts out. It's pretty quick. You know, it's a really capable system, even though this one's rated at just, you know, 250 watts. I think it's plenty. The bike rides pretty stable here. I'm doing no hands, even over the kind of the bumps there. A little bit of speed wobble maybe at higher speeds. Plenty of hill climbing ability though. airplane in the background it's just really nice and relaxed upright I can spot my my course see my friends that cushion and that seat post suspension is really nice I wasn't able to tell what brand that's from but it's it's really cush it's really nice I think that's a good overview hopefully it's answered some of the questions you might have had about this bike it is a lot of money but I feel like these guys do a great job I can see why they're um, sort of a a crowd favorite um, in, in certain parts of the world in Europe and it's great to have them come into America for the full write-off on this including some more measurements about standover height and just the specs and stuff I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com of course if you have this bike and you have some comments you'd like to share do so in, in the comment section and of course ride safe